Hello everybody and welcome to another Dot Fives uh, for the ASX Exchange Traded Funds. This is our Horizon View for the 26th of the 2nd, 2019. Uh, the old ordinary is closed up a little today, 0.4% to 6,209. Our top five percentage rises, uh, we had Cure. Um, as mentioned before, this is one of the pretty much the bigger S&P um, biotech trackers. Um, there was a bit of movement for today for our precious metals. We've got um, our physical platinum ETF and our physical palladium ETF uh, in the top percentage rises. Uh, we also had China, uh, China as a focus as well. So we had the China New Economies ETF and the China AMC uh, 300 tracker index as well. So it's a synthetic. So for our top five percentage falls, uh, we had um, the crude oil index, uh, which is a hedged index and that's a synthetic. So oil, not the flavor of the day. Um, then we had our um, uh, QAG, which was an agricultural uh, ETF, so it's a currency hedge, that's a synthetic ETF as well. Followed on by GEAR, uh, which is an Australian um, equity fund, which is uh, hedged, and that's highly, highly levered as well, that one. Then we had our uh, Global Gold Miners, uh, X Australia, and that's a hedge, um, um, hedge DTF as well. So, you, so it looks like there's a big um, negative today against uh, commodities in, in broader sense. Uh, and our last uh, highest percentage followers IGR, which is a, um, a small cap uh, S&P tracker, so that one looks at sort of the smaller 600 companies on the S&P in the States. Our top five dollar rises, we had um, mirroring the percentage rises, so we had our um, physical palladium and physical plat um, platinum ETFs. Uh, we also had the Cure ETF, which is which tracks biotech um, in the States. Uh, still chasing our uh, China theme. Um, so we had the, I can find it. Yeah, so the um, CETF that tracks the 300 bigger companies in, in China. Then we had uh, one that I haven't seen before, which is IHEB, which is uh, tracks emerging markets, so that's a bond, and that one is hedged Australian dollar. So our top five dollar falls. So we had our um, IJH, which is a mid-cap uh, S&P tracker, uh, that one's down today. Then we had our hedged S&P um, 500 tracker, IHVV. Then we had the, the unhedged variant, um, which is one of the bigger ETFs on the market, so at IVV, so that one's unhedged, uh, tracks the S&P 500. Then had SPY, which is our, another um, ETF tracker as well. So that's a uh, trust, that one there. And then we had IJR, which tracks our small caps um, stocks in the uh, States and the S&P. Top five number of trades. So a similar type of thing to what we see most days, the, the bigger the bigger sized uh, ETF funds, they're gonna have um, quite considerable amount of uh, trades above 
above all the other small uh, small ETFs. So we had VAS, which is our Vanguard Australian Securities Index. So that's a um, uh, tracks our top 300. And we had uh, SDW, which is a Spider 200 um, tracker as well. That's one of the bigger bigger funds as well. Then we had the Beta Nasdaq 100 ETF tracker. So that one tracks the top 100 tech companies in the states. Facebook, Amazon, and all those big companies. Uh, Apple. IEU, uh, which is a new one for me as well. I haven't really seen this one before. So this one tracks um, the top 300 um, companies in Europe. So, you know, all the different European countries. So, you know, you can go through and pick all those big companies um, out of Europe. And then we had IVV, which is another one of our, our large funds as well. So that one tracks your SP 500. Volume. So quite a, a large value for QPON. So QPON is a Australia senior uh, floating bond uh, ETF. So I think there was quite a lot of people looking for some protection today because of bonds and um, things are quite um, prominent in the, the volume today. Uh, we had our Asia Tiger Technology ETF, and then we had uh, Float, which is another um, ETF that tracks Australian floating rate uh, exchange, the so bonds. Uh, we had uh, our Vanguard Australia Index as well, so VAS, which tracks our which tracks the uh, S and P ASX 300. We had our NASDAQ um, 100 tracker again, so NQ, NDQ, quite a, quite a large volume for that one as well. Top five for value. So we had our uh, Vanguard Australian Securities Index, ETF, VAS. So that one's always prominent because it's one of the larger funds so there's quite a lot of funds moving in and out of that one. Uh, we had QPON again so that had quite a lot of volume so you can have quite a lot of value associated with that one again so that one um, tracks the uh, Australian bank senior floating rate um, bonds. VEU which is um, Vanguard um, ETF which tracks um, all world, uh, excluding um, the US. STW, which is our uh, Spider 200, uh, sorry, S&P 200 on the ASX. So that's uh, one, of the, one of the bigger um, ETFs that track the top 200 companies in Australia. We have IVV, which is our uh, S&P 500 uh, ETF. That one's quite a large one as well, so that if we get a lot of the, the volume and value associated with those those ones. 